Hey guys, it's Ben here, and this video features my live reaction to Tranmere Rovers vs Liverpool as it happened. It's the Reds' first pre-season friendly of the summer. Make sure you stick around until the end for player ratings and man of the match. Let's get into it. Early ball, and Ojo! Oh, he's missed a sitter. Daniel Sturridge on the ball there on the halfway line. Glorious ball. Ojo, I mean, if it was roll reverse, I think Sturridge would have buried that, and then the finish was not one of Ojo's best. The goalkeeper's kit is gorgeous. I'm not sure if Karras is just making it look brilliant because of his looks, but I mean, that is a staggering goalkeeper's kit to go along with the beautiful home kit that the outfield players are wearing. And it's a header, and it falls loose. And it's blazed over by John Matip, who seemed to miss so many chances like that last season. He does miss a lot of chances, Matip. For me, has been quiet so far. I honestly forgot he was playing. Um, here's Ojo. Bit of space for the winger to run into here. Got to beat a man, though. It might shoot. He does. And it's deflected just wide from Shea Ojo. But good play from him. Positive. Lucas Lever is a man possessed tonight. He's not letting anything past him. Here come Tramway. Great first touch by their striker. And he's completely done John Matip. But Lucas... Steps across, here's Shea Ojo, cutting inside, will he shoot again? He does, and again it's been headed behind. Daniel Sturridge, great touch. Finds Ojo, Milner's making the run, here's Milner, great move, but the final ball not quite there for Milner, but that's probably the best football we've seen from Liverpool so far. I mean, this is attack versus defence for Liverpool. Here's Ojo from the left, running in and forcing a save. Finds Grujic, who does well to hold on to it and shoots and forces a good save. Sturridge on the follow-up, no. Just wasn't quite alert there, I don't think. The possession stats could quite frankly be anything in this opening half an hour. I mean, if it was 80-20, I wouldn't be surprised. Given away by Tranmere. Dangerous position, and that could be a penalty. It is a penalty. I mean, it was suicide defending, and I think it was Ojo that nipped in in front of the keeper. And Ojo still down. It, I mean, it was good pressing from Liverpool. As I said, they've been doing it all game, and it's a stonewall penalty. The keeper just doesn't need to make that tackle. Ojo, Ojo's thinking, I'm just going to get a touch on this, the keeper's going to bring me down, and that's exactly what the keeper did. Really clever from Ojo. James Milner, of course, he missed his last penalty in Liverpool shirt against Southampton. This one obviously much less important. Here comes Milner, and he scores just under the keeper. Wasn't the most convincing of penalties, but Liverpool do lead Tranmere by one goal to nil. He gets a really good handle on it, Milner fortunate there to to convert, but Liverpool get the lead they do deserve. 1-0 and hopefully the first of many tonight. The pressing from Liverpool, I know it's just pre-season, but the pressing has been really impressive and that is what led to the goal in the end, so it's just, it's obviously what they're still working on. Alexander Arnold with the cross, it just deflected low and somehow evaded everybody. He's gonna shoot surely, it's deflected as far as Milner. Henderson making a run outside of him, Milner shoots! Just wide, good effort, great play from Liverpool and Van Allen. Looks long towards Sturridge, and it's a lovely touch, but just too far ahead of Ojo, but lovely play from Liverpool by Naldon with a lovely pass, and Sturridge's touch is just magnificent. I'm feeling a lot calmer now that I'm actually watching Liverpool playing. I'm sick of stressing that about transfers. This is what I want to do, just watch Liverpool play football against crap teams and win easily. That's <laughs> it's ball in. Here's Van Alden. Oh, he should have shot. He tried to play in Daniel Sturridge, but Van Alden was in the penalty area, on his right foot, loads of space. Ojo. Cutting inside. This is Grujic with a great goal. Wow, what a hit. Again, I think the keeper maybe could have done better with that one, but I mean, he was about 30 yards out. Brilliant strike from Grujic. 30 yards out, makes space, really wrap this foot around it. Plenty of bend, plenty of pace on the ball. It's a good strike. I think a Premier League keeper probably saves that, but it is a good hit from Grujic. And he played well this half, Grujic. I mean, really impressed. And that kind of just Sums up how well he's played. And Mike Dean blows for half time. So there it is, half time. Liverpool lead 2 0. Uh, Milner's penalty after Ojo won it really well. And then Marco Grujic with a 30 yard screamer. Great goal from him, a great performance from him in the first half. Really comfortable, really easy. Uh, nice tempo to the play, some nice moves in there. Uh, and Liverpool lead Tramir by two goals to nil at half time. So let's quickly do some player ratings from that first half. Carriers. Six, didn't have to do anything, but he just looks great in that kit. Alexander-Arnold played really well. I think he deserves a seven. He got 
forward quite nicely. Put some good crosses in, just all round a threat. Matip's getting a five just for missing that sitter, <laughs> but he's obviously been okay. Lucas, seven out of ten, just won everything in the air. Milner gets an eight, scored a penalty and had another good effort just wide. Henderson, seven. Van Adam seven. They're both their usual brilliant selves. Rujic gets an eight, not just for the goal. I just think he's been really impressive. He's got in some good positions. He's got forward nicely, some lovely touches. Linked up well with the forwards. Ojo gets a seven. He was a bit wasteful at times, but I think after the first 50 minutes, he really settled in and put some nice balls in and was instrumental. He won the penalty really well as well. Good pace and good awareness to, to win that head of the keeper. Firmino, six. Wasn't really in the game that much. And Daniel Sturridge, seven. I thought he showed some lovely touches. Worked hard, looked pretty sharp. Always a pleasure to watch such a quality player in action. Let's see what the second half brings. So the second half is about to get underway. And in some ways, I'm more intrigued about this one. I think I'm excited to see Dominic Slanky, but even the likes of Markovic, Stewart, Flanagan, Joe Gomez, guys with somewhat uncertain futures, whether it's going to be sold permanently or on loan or sticking around. Just interested to see how they get on. So the second half is underway. Here's Kent. What's he going to do this time? It looks exciting. That's a good little low cross. And a Tulanki! Oh, it's, it's in! Chiravella, I think, in the end. Yep. 3 0. Tulanki swivel and shot with his left foot. The keeper really should have done better, but it, yeah, he got enough on it to stop it going in. But Chiravella was there, and it's 3 0 just after the restart. Ryan Kent, really impressive. Great low cross in. Solanke's touch was good. His shot was on target. Keeper had to just fumble it straight into the path of Chiravella. And it's 3-0. Liverpool winning the ball high at the pitch. Oh, that's a horrendous tackle on, Ch on, on Ben Woodburn. <laughs> Laughs and jokes about it, but <laughs> that was a typical non-league hack. Solanke, here's Markovic, needs help. Just passes it straight to the Tranmere player. Oh, Lazar, I really want you to do well. Oh, solanke has been gifted the ball. Hey, gonna find Chiravella. This time the keeper does well. Again, Tranmere suicide defending. We're getting a lot of gifts here. Oh, it's fallen to the Tranmere man. Karras makes his best save of the match. Made himself big. I think he hit him in the chest in the end. Some of these Tranmere lads are really quite out of shape. You know, that's what the summer's for. Ryan Kent, great dribbling from him, cuts inside. He's found Ben Woodburn in behind. Surely a penalty. It is. Great play from Kent again. Woodburn ran in behind. And he's taken the ball off a of defender. Looks like he wants to take it. Mike Dean was in no doubt. Ryan Kent, great pace. Cut inside. Just looking at it again. Woodburn with the run. Perfectly timed ball. And yeah, Woodburn taken out from behind. Penalty and chance for 4-0. Woodburn's going to take it. And Woodburn makes it 4. Cool penalty. Bottom corner. Keep it wrong way. He's played well, Ben Woodburn. Can't argue with that. Very cool and composed penalty. Markovic. Lovely ball. It's Kent. Flag stays down. It's Markovic. Oh, how has he missed from there? Oh, that just sums up Lazar Markovic's Liverpool career. I cannot believe he's blazed that over. Oh, I could honestly have scored that. It came, it came to him right on the penalty spot. Goal at his mercy and he's just, just smashed it over the bar. Oh, I feel so sorry for Markovic. Come on, let's get Solanke a goal. Or Markovic. <laughs> Poor Lazar. Solanke, great first touch. Solanke! Oh, the keeper saves. It's just not going to happen for him tonight, I don't think. Keeper saved his best work for when Solanke's been the one trying to score past him. Maybe if it was the keeper that was on in the first half, it might have been a different story. Just looking at this Solanke chance again. The first touch was glorious. And it, there's plenty of pace on the shot, but just straight at the keeper. Full time whistle goes. There it is. 4 0 Liverpool. Solid performance, really nice run out for the Reds. So let's go through the player ratings for the second half. Nathaniel Klein, six. Just a steady performance from him, got forward a little bit, did okay. Joe Gomez, six. Ragnar Clavin, six. Both had very little to do, but looked good on the ball when they had it. Flanagan, I'll give a seven. I thought he got forward quite well and showed signs of some nice link-up player of Ryan Kent. Markovic, bless him, gets a five. That miss was just dreadful and he gave the ball away a couple of times. Didn't quite look as confident as, as I'd have hoped. On the other flank, Ryan Kent, eight out of 10. I thought he was really, really good. Showed lots of pace, lots of skill, took on players. His end product was very good. Really encouraging display from him. Kevin Stewart gets a six, he did okay. Chiravella, seven, even besides the goal, I thought he played really well, some really nice passing. Ben Woodburn, the same, he also gets a seven. Look, took his penalty beautifully and just looked a class above, really. And we'll give Dominic Solanke a seven too. Looked sharp, looked lively, had a couple of chances. Didn't quite go in for him, he had a couple of good saves to deny him, but overall a strong showing in his first Liverpool appearance. So what did we learn from this game? Well, we know that everyone looks pretty fit, pretty raring to go in pre-season. The pressing was really impressive in both halves. There was a lot of rotation positionally as well. The wingers were switching flanks a lot, and even in the second half, 
Chiri Vela was dropping in if Kevin Stewart was pushing forward. There's a lot of moving around. Flanagan got forward quite a lot. Trent Alexander Arnold got forward a lot in the first half, so the fullbacks definitely bumming on. Marco Grudic, really impressive. I'm delighted to see him play well and score a lovely goal. Everyone else looked pretty good. And also Shea Odjo and Ryan Kent both impressed on the wing. It's unlikely they'll be part of Klopp's first team squad this season. I'm sure they'll both go out on loan, but it's just nice to see them play well. Marco Grujic takes my man of the match award. Kent was a close second, but he was taking on tired fullbacks coming the end, and it was a bit easy for him, whereas Grujic was a big part of setting that tempo early on, getting forward, getting into good positions, some lovely footwork, and of course the excellent goal to top it off, the best goal of the game. Leave a comment with your man of the match from that game and just your overall thoughts on Liverpool's first pre-season fixture of the campaign. A 4-0 win over Tramay Rovers. It's one better than I predicted. I thought it'd be 3 0. But two goals in each half took is a convincing win for Jürgen Klopp's side. I think we can all be pretty pleased with what we've seen and we look forward to Friday at Wigan. Hope you enjoyed the video guys, please do subscribe to my channel for more of this sort of stuff. I will be back tomorrow with a preview of Wigan Athletic versus Liverpool and then of course on Friday I'll be doing a similar video to this, reacting to the game. Drop a like if you enjoyed this kind of video or leave a comment if you'd rather me do something else to cover the games and of course share the video for me, spread the word, tell your Liverpool supporting mates about me and let's try and get to a thousand subscribers before the start of the Premier League season. That is the aim. And of course a big thanks to all of you that have already subscribed. We're closing in on that 500 now and I appreciate every single one of you. And follow my other socials, as Ben might say, on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook and I'll see you next time. Up the Reds.